Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're fixing an everyday problem with 3D printing. I'm going right into it. Okay, so the problem with this microwave oven is that every time you push this button, and if you push it a little bit harder, of course, also happening faster, it tends to move on this surface of this compartment and you have some point you have to pull it back into position. And my wife is constantly bragging about this, like, can you please fix this? Do it. You're always in the basement with your 3D printers. Do something about it. And I was thinking, well, this is the perfect chance to do this with 3D printing. We can fix this. Of course, we could fix this with a rubber mat underneath, but I tend to hate rubber mats because they collect all kinds of dust. But instead, I want to fix this with a printed part that I'm going to print out two times which is going to hold these rubber feet of the microwave oven in place. So we can take it out by just lifting it up a little bit and we take it out easy, clean everything, put it back into position. It's gonna stay in the exact position which we want it to stay. So let's head over to the computer and create this part in Fusion 360. The only thing that I need to do is to measure the diameter of these rubber feet and then we're ready to go. Okay, so I've got a new workspace in Fusion 360 and I'm going to start by creating a box and this is going to be the mounting plate where my fixation part for the microwave oven is going to sit on. Just thinking about making it round about maybe five by five centimeters. That should be fine. And yeah, I think I'm going to with 1.6 millimeters. To make it a little bit nicer, I'm going to fillet the corners. That means I'm going to round the corners so what you have to do is select this corner and select the, the whole edge here and then say fill it. And then you can do it either by dragging the mouse or you can also enter a value here and we can just say, okay, let's make it four millimeters. So it's just looking nicer. And I'm just going to repeat this for all the four corners. Okay. So that's our base plate. So the next step is to create a cylinder in the middle of this plate. I know that the inner diameter of this holder part where the microwave feet need to sit in is 22 millimeters and I wanna add some additional space. So let's say 23.5. Then we add a shell and we wanna have um, at least two millimeters of shell where this is going to sit in. I would actually go for four millimeters of shell. So let's add four millimeters to that. And then we're going to cut out the inner tube next. So let's say 23.5 is the inner plus Plus five is 28.5. Let's confirm that. And then we need to think about how high this part needs to be. Let's say we make it five millimeters high so the oven's feet cannot jump over this. And let's see from the side how this looks. Yeah, that looks nice. And now let's cut out the inner part, which is the 23.5 millimeters. Create a hole here in the middle. First, we need to place the center point. And then we have to say, this is a simple hole it's going to be a simple tap and a flat drill the height of the hole is basically um it just has to be thicker in this case than the whole thing so 30 millimeter is okay and diameter is 23.5 yeah that looks nice and let's confirm that this looks already pretty nice technically this could already work if we use double-sided tape and put it underneath this plate what i'm going to add now is four screw holes in the corners just to have them in case i need them so i need to reset the settings here a little bit we need a hole that's a diameter of four millimeters for a standard screw and uh, what i can do to make this a little bit easier for me i can manually place this but it's already telling me well this could be a good distance from the corner and you can see once I drag it, it shows these white little dots. And that is basically a suggestion where I could place this hole. And I think that's actually not bad. So let's keep this. Let's repeat this four times. That's our part. That's the part that we want. So you can imagine the foot of the microwave is gonna sit inside here, though it's got not going to move around anymore. And I'm going to export it as an STL file with high refinement quality and let's save it. Now I'm going to print it out and we're going to mount it underneath the microwave in a moment. So magic of editing is gonna happen right now. So these are the final parts printed out in transparent PLA 
and 0.2 millimeter layer height. Let's put them underneath the microwave oven to see how they fit. So let's try. Yeah, that looks nice and nothing's moving. So I think we can fix it in place. So I'm using two power stripes for each of these holder plates to fix them to the compartment. And let's test it. Looking good, nothing is moving anymore. Problem solved, my wife is happy. If you like this video, share, like, subscribe, all the good things. And I hope to see you next time on this channel for another video. Bye bye, have a good week. Oh,